Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over per tunnel QoS for DMVPN. Now, I'm going to show you the network that we're using, show DMVPN. And you can see that on my on the hub and on this hub I have three spokes. Now, when we say per tunnel QoS, we don't mean per tunnel interface. So, you know, you can see here it's just interface tunnel zero, that's the only tunnel I'm running. When we say per tunnel, it's not what we mean. What we mean is basically per spoke, but it's, you know, per tunnel to the spoke. So on our network, what we are going to try to do is, let's say we have our hub here, and I have three spoke routers. Two of them are or have fast, you know, cable connections or whatever, just fast uplinks um, to the hub. So I'll just say, you know, you're fast, you're fast, and you're slow. What we want to do is we want to apply one QoS policy for these two spokes and then apply a different QoS policy here to the slower spokes. So in this video, I'm not gonna go super in depth about how to actually configure QoS, but this is very specific to configuring the QoS for the tunnel. So I'm gonna jump right in and configure my policy maps. So the first one is, I'm gonna call it fast, or I can call it high bandwidth or whatever, but uh, eh, I'll call it, yeah, I'll call it fast. For the class default, if I can type, I'm just going to apply a shaper, and it's just going to, you know, shape for an average of, um, let's say, 300 meg, right? And then we're going to do one more policy map, and we're going to say these are the slow spokes, and for them, I as well will apply a shaper to the default class of, let's say, 10 meg. So. Under normal QoS or regular QoS, we would take this policy map and apply it to the interface, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, what we have to do is map them to NHRP groups, and the spokes will actually signal to the hub which group they are a part of. So let me go down to spoke two. I'll say two and three are both going to be the faster spokes. So, conf T, I'm going to go into the tunnel interface, and it's the NHRP group command, and we'll just say the group is fast. Now, this group is a separate attribute, and it does not need to match this name. I would say in your production environment, it's probably a good idea to keep them the same, but what I'll do is, let's say here, I'll do the same thing here. Um, IP NHRP group, I'm sorry, it's NHRP group fast. What I'll say is on R4, I'll name it something different just so you can see that it doesn't actually have to be the, the same. Uh, NHRP group, we'll call it slow spokes. Slow spoke, perfect. So when, how we actually map them is on the tunnel interface, we use the NHRP map group command. And you can see the first part of it is the NHRP group name. This isn't the policy name. Now, on our fast spokes, we named it the same, so we named it fast. And then we just apply the service policy output fast. For our slow ones, I named it slow spoke for the NHRP group name, and then the service policy was just named slow. So you can see you could do it either way. You could have them be the same. You could have them be different. The important part, though, is that this on the hub needs to match this on the spoke, and it is case sensitive. So if I did it all lowercase here and uppercase on the hub, you know, that would be a problem. Now that it's applied, let's do a show um, NHRP group to take a look. 
And we see my two groups, but we see that there's actually no endpoints using either one. Transport endpoints using the QoS policy is none. The reason being is that this um, mapping or the, the signal from the spoke to the hub is done during the NHRP registration process. <clears throat> Excuse me, the NHRP registration process. So I need to go down to the spokes and I'm gonna shut and then no shut the interfaces, the tunnel interfaces. Now this is important because this means that you can't do this in the middle of the day. You're probably gonna to wanna to do this during your maintenance windows. Now, if I go back to the hub, we run that same show NHRP group map command. Now we see router two and router three are using the fast uh, QoS policy because they are in this group. And then four is in the group name slow spoke and it is using the QoS policy of slow. So you can see these two things are, are different. The group name is an NHRP attribute and we can see that that's an NHRP attribute by doing show IP NHRP. And we can see the group name is fast here and the group name is slow spoke here. And then the QoS policy is something that's different. The QoS policy is um, our policy map. There is one more before I jump into the actual QoS verification. If we did a show DMVP in detail, Here's another spot where you could see both on a per spoke basis. So this spoke two has this NHRP group attribute, and then here's the QoS policy applied. Same with three, and then four has the slow spoke group, and then the slow QoS service policy applied. Now the final command we do is, normally we do a show policy map interface but there's gonna be nothing here because we didn't apply it to the interface. What we actually want to do is multipoint, which is show multipoint QoS policy. So let's do multipoint. And now we get our output. Now, if you have a bunch of spokes, you're gonna get a ton of output. As you can see, it does one for the tunnel to router two, and here's all the information to router two, one tunnel to router three, and there's the service policy applied, and then one to router four. And then you would see the, the things you would normally see under the you know show server or show policy map interface command, where you would you know we could see the shaper that's applied, queuing, and all the other fun stuff that we'd like to do. So this was a very simple um, example, but you can still do all the other stuff you do. You can still do fancy queuing and different type of type of policing shaper, you know, however you want to do it. Um, but the actual mapping is pretty simple. You just need to use the NHRP group command or the NHRP map group command. And then on the spokes, you just specify which group the spoke is in, which really is going to be great for us because now we can just template all of our spokes and, you know, bringing them up onto the DMVPN is simple. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, other than that, well, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.